Hello everyone. In this video, you will learn how to find limit if you get 0 over 0. Example 1. Find the limit of x minus 3 as x approaches 2. Substitute x with 2, you get 2 minus 3 equal to minus 1. Example 2. Find the limit of square root x minus 3 as x approaches 2. Substitute x with 2, you get square root 2 minus 3 equal to square root minus 1 and it is undefined. Example 3. Find the limit of x minus 3 as x approaches 3. Substitute x with 3, you get 3 minus 3 equal to 0. Example 4. Find the limit of x minus 3 over x plus 2. Substitute x with 3, you get 3 minus 3 over 3 plus 2 equal to 0 over 5 equal to 0. Example 5. Find the limit of x plus 2 over x minus 3 as x approaches 3. Substitute x with 3, you get 3 plus 2 over 3 minus 3 equal to 5 over 0. And this is undefined. Example 6. Find the limit of x square plus 5x plus 6 over x plus 3. If you substitute x with minus 3, because x approaches minus 3, you will get 9 minus 15 plus 6 which is equal to 0 over minus 3 plus 3 which is also equal to 0. In this case, what you need to do is to find the common factor from the numerator and denominator. Normally, if the denominator is x plus 3, one of the factor for the numerator should also be x plus 3. So you need to find the other one. Since 3 times 2 is 6 and 3x plus 2x is equal to 5x, so the other factor is x plus 2. You can also find the factor for the numerator using your calculator. Since you have the same factor x plus 3 from the numerator and denominator, you can cancel out x plus 3. Now you only have the limit of x plus 2 as x approaches minus 3. When you substitute x with minus 3, you get minus 3 plus 2 equal to minus 1. Example 7. You need to find the limit of x over square root x plus 4 minus 2 as x approaches 0. When you substitute x with 0, you get 0 over square root 0 plus 4 which is 2 minus 2 which is equal to 0. For this case, what you need to do is rationalize the denominator of the function by multiplying with the conjugate of the denominator. Since the denominator is square root x plus 4 minus 2, the conjugate is square root x plus 4 plus 2.
Now you have to multiply both terms and you will get for the numerator x times the conjugate. But for the denominator, what you need to do is just copy whatever in the square root because you have square root x plus 4. So you just need to write down x plus 4 minus you have minus 2 and plus 2. So minus 4. Now you can cancel x from the numerator and denominator. And you will get only square root x plus 4 plus 2 as x approaches 0. When you substitute, substitute x with 0, you will get square root 0 plus 4 plus 2 and it is equal to 2 plus 2 equal to 4. Thank you.